My name is Adam Francis with Miles Restoration, and today I've got two a set of this Vanessa, Vanessa Nice Hands from Drexel, and this would have been a probably a lower end mine, but still nonetheless the Drexel brand, so it's a good quality and it's worth refinishing. They're in good shape, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the hardware off, I'm going to give them a clean, and I'm going to prime them with a shellac gauge primer and get them ready for paint. And what I'm going to use for color is a Greek Villa. And I'm just going to show my process. I'm just going to take a bucket of, you know, water, some dish soap, clean them off, get them ready for primer, get them ready for paint. I paid $100 for these, and I think that's a little much. I probably would have paid a little bit less, but, you know, my estimated retail price for these after I've painted them and you know I have a really good painting process it looks like a factory finish I can probably expect to get about $375 $400 in a retail setting in an antique district I might be able to bring profit so you know for the amount of time and effort it's not a terrible sale but it's it's not the best and uh, you know dressers definitely tend to do better but after that matching pairs of nice stands are great too This is how I mask drawers. I just take some 24 inch paper, put it across the front of the drawer and on the sides. Maybe just kind of stick it to here a little bit, keep it, make a little bit better of a seal. Do it the same process with the cabinets. Pull the paper up with a film. this, wrap it around the box, and I just take a little bit of tape, make sure it's covering up everything. Just kind of do something like that, nothing too complicated. So I'm going to be applying a thin shellac based primer here. Best for vinyl in my opinion. Um, put a 1.5 nozzle and a 1.5 needle in this gun. It's an Apollo 7700 with the uh, Apollo LE 5 Pro. Just going to strain it, put it through here, put it on. So I've got everything primed and I'm about to give everything a sanding with a high 420 grit or something like that and put the paint on it.
I use a really high grit on the power sander just to make sure that when I get sanding swirls, but in areas like this, I'll use a lower grit because by hand it's going to be harder to burn through the primer. It's easier to burn through the primer with a power sander. So, and we use sanding swirls. So I use a worn out 220 sponge for this. So for the paint, I've got Greek Villa and the color, that's the color. And then I have the Pro Industrial Water-Based Alkyd Urethane. So for the paint, I've got Greek Villa and the color, that's the color. And then I have the Pro Industrial Water-Based Alkyd Urethane. If not using this for a good furniture paint, I'd recommend emerald urethane, trim enamel, just thinning it by 10%, 15%. So we've got a little issue. I um, You can't really see it on the camera that well, but there's definitely a good bit of orange peel in it and kind of like a grainy texture almost. So I'm going to try to fix it. Unfortunately, I think what it was was this paint was just way thicker than I thought it was due to the fact that when I had it in my truck, it was very hot and it made it appear more viscous than it actually was. And it's been a long time since I've used it. So what, I'm, what I did was I just thinned it by about 15% and now it's got a pretty good viscosity to it. You know, this is a little bit cheaper than the urethane trim enamel.
All right, so these are done. Two Drexel nightstands finished up. I know what you think. Thanks for watching.